New shooter coverage of Cine Gear 2024 is sponsored by b &H and Atlas Lens Co. Hi, it's Matt here for NewShooter.com at Cinegear 2024. I'm with Randall from Holly Land. Now, this is the new Pyro 7 that uh, we first saw at NAB a couple yeah. of months ago. Um, it's getting closer to shipping now. Uh, just run me through what it can do and its specifications. Yeah, so this is going to be in with the Pyro series. Uh, so we have a couple uh, new transmitter receivers that came out. Similar to the Mar series, it's going to interlink with those wirelessly, right? So up to 1,300 feet if you have two receivers, and it cuts in half if you go to more than two receivers, and the limit is four, right? Uh, you got a dual NPF on this, so you can hot swap. You also got a DC in that also has a feed throughout, which is really great. You have a couple function buttons on here that you can kind of adjust to your own settings in here as well. Uh, but otherwise, a lot of the same features as far as having anamorphic D squeeze, your RGB waveforms, your ability to even just turn down red, green, or blue from zero to 100, right? All that great stuff. And then also the biggest upgrade on the Pyro series compared to what we had previously is that we're doing a dual band. So 2.4 and 5.1 to 5.8 versus just the 5.1 to 5.8 previously. So if there's any issues with the heavy Wi-Fi environment, you can kind of duck back down to that 2.4. So this can be used as a transceiver, both as a, a transmitter and a receiver? Yeah. Yeah, so, well, not at the same time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I figured you knew, but just to make sure. Uh, but yes, in that case, you can change it from being either just transmitter or receiver by sneaking to the battery button over here, going to its wireless, and then changing from either just transmitter or receiver mode there. And uh, it takes a few moments to do its thing. But yeah, then one can be a transmitter on top of your camera, send 1,300 feet to the one or two other ones if you want to just have all screens. Uh, but yeah, that's the beauty of these items is having the monitor as well as the transmitter and receiver. And in terms of brightness, how bright's the screen? We're going to go, I'm told it's 1,500 nits. So that's going to be about 50% uh, uh, more than what we did on the Mars. So should help everybody out with those sunny areas. Uh, and we also are going to bring the sun hood out as an accessory too, just in case. And the Pyro H, Pyro S are now shipping. Uh, the Pyro 7, when's this expected to be available? We have a date as of right now is July 31st, barring any changes. So hopefully that should be the date. And price? I haven't gotten that yet, so I'm not going to get too crazy there. I know our Mars 5.5 was going for 500 at the time, so if we can kind of guesstimate there, uh, I'm not going to drop names but I'll, or numbers, but I'll leave you at that.